We're going to explain how to port forward on an Eero router. Port forwarding lets specific devices on your home network accept incoming connections from the internet, which is necessary for things like game servers, home security cameras, or other services that need to be accessible remotely. One, first open your web browser and go to your Eero app. If you haven't already, make sure your Eero system is set up and connected to your internet service. Two, next, log into your Eero app using your email address and password. The app should automatically detect your Eero network and show you the status of each node. Three, now find the settings menu. The exact location of this might differ slightly depending on your Eero app version, but it's usually represented by a gear icon or a three dot menu. Four, within the settings, you should locate a section dedicated to advanced settings or network settings. This will be where you manage more in-depth network configurations. Five, inside the advanced settings, look for the port forwarding option. Sometimes this might be labeled as port mapping or something similar. It should clearly state its purpose. Six, once you've found the port forwarding section, you'll need to add a new rule. Click the add rule button or a similar prompt. Seven, the process now involves providing specific information about the device and ports you want to forward. First, you'll need the local IP address of the device you wish to make accessible from the outside world. Find this by going to the device's network settings or on your Eero app under the devices tab. The IP address is usually a series of four numbers separated by periods, for example, 192.168.1100. Eight. Next, you'll need to specify the port numbers you want to forward. This information is usually provided by the application or service you're trying to make accessible. It often involves a range of numbers such as 8080, 8081, or a single port like 21. Nine. Enter the local IP address of your device, the ports you found in step eight, and the corresponding external ports. Many times these are the same numbers for the external and internal port. For example, 8080 both for external and internal. 10. Finally, you will give your rule a name, something memorable to identify it easily in the future, such as gaming server or security camera. 11. Once you have filled out all the necessary information correctly, save or apply the rule. The Eero app will then configure your router to forward those specific ports to the device with the indicated internal IP address. 12. After saving the rule, test if the port forwarding works successfully. You might need to check if the application you are forwarding is publicly accessible from a different network or device. If it is not working, double check all the settings and make sure your device is connected to your Eero network and the ports are available. Remember to always be cautious when opening ports to the internet and only do so for trusted applications.